everybody, welcome back. If you are new here, hi, my name's Amber. Today we are gonna be doing this super easy gel mani in honor of New Year. So happy New Year, everybody. So here I am with just bare nails, natural nails, nothing on them. I'm gonna wait to do my shaping until after I get some builder gel on my nails. We are gonna be using the Emily Builder Base and top coat and a gold sparkly gel nail polish and some various stamping supplies. I ended up doing two different manicures and I will show you my super extra one I came up with, but for this video, we're just gonna keep it super simple. Here's the Amelie Builder Base. I have a whole video using this. If you want to see a little bit more of how to use this in detail, I will link that video down below. I will also link all the products that I use in case you want to pick any of these up. So to start, I'm going to go ahead and do a layer of builder base about halfway down my nail on the tips. My nail tips are still a little bit damaged and thin so they need a little bit extra support and that's why I'm doing a little half layer first. This builder gel is extremely buildable. It layers up so easily and seamlessly and I have just been loving it. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that with a little nail magic for about two minutes. Now I'm going to go back in and I'm gonna do my full cover from cuticle to tip on the builder base for my full nail here. This stuff is applying a super thick gel with a regular nail polish brush. After you get the hang of how it applies to your nail, it's actually very, very easy to use. So I'm just getting that gel on my nail and then using the brush to kind of smooth it out so everything is really nice and even and I don't have to do as much filing. So once you have that full layer on there, if you have anything that touches your skin, you can use your other fingernail or a cuticle stick or something to wipe it off. And then we're gonna cure that again. So here we are fully cured and at this point, it is gonna be very sticky. If you want to go straight in with your gel polish, then you don't have to do a base coat. This is a builder, a builder gel and a base coat. But I wanted to go ahead and do some filing now that I have the gel on my nails. I do have a whole video in depth of how to file your natural nails, how to get a good shape, so I will link that as well up here if you guys wanna check that one out. But if you're gonna file the builder gel, then all the little shape, shaping, shavings are gonna go everywhere and get stuck to the builder gel. So I will show you what I do when I file. After I've got the shape, I'm gonna take a buffing block and I'm just gonna file off that sticky layer so that everything looks basically like you dipped it in a layer of clear dip. And it kind of just looks like your natural nail, but stronger. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe away any of that excess dust and nail shavings. So here we go. We've got our layer of builder base on all of our nails, filed and shaped. I'm gonna go in with this gold gel polish and apply a layer of that to all of my nails and you can see on my left hand I did a very extra New Year's Eve Manny experiment and I'll show you that in detail in just a minute. For this video though we're keeping it simple. The whole idea was throw on the builder gel, throw on some pretty sparkly polish, add a little stamping design and be done with it. Quickie, easy, you really can't beat that, right? So once you've got a layer of whatever sparkly polish you wanna put on, you're just gonna go ahead and cure that for about a minute. And then I also had this sparkly silver gel. So I decided to go ahead and add that to a couple nails 
just to add a little something extra. Gold and silver really go pretty together and I thought for New Year's the more sparkle the better. I'm still pretty new to gel polish. Most of my tutorials are using dip powder so I don't have a huge gel polish collection. So I thought I'd go ahead and throw the two sparkly colors I had together. And here we go. We've got three gold, two gold and silver, and then I'm gonna go ahead and throw on a stamping design. So I'm just using a black stamping polish here. This one's from Born Pretty on Amazon. I also really like the Queen brand from Walmart. Very, very good. And I'm using a Maniology stamping plate. They are my favorite. They have the best quality in stamping supplies. So of course I'll link all that stuff for you guys below if you're interested in picking up any of the stuff I use in this video. And I just put this really pretty sparkly swirl on there. I thought it looked cute like confetti or champagne swirl bubbles. Very New Year's eve -y. Now I'm going in with the Amelie No White top coat. This came in a pair with the Builder Gel. So I'll go ahead and put that in the description box below as well. And I really, really love this stuff. I think it cost me $10 for the pair on Amazon and it couldn't be better quality and easier to use. So now that that is cured, I am done. Wasn't that simple and quick and easy? So here's my extra Manny. I just did a layer of black nail polish, some of that sparkly gold with some little gold rhinestones. This one is gonna be just black polish with a coppery gold stamp. I've got gold chrome with black stamp, a regular gold nail, and another black nail polish with gold on top. And then here's our super easy, just as pretty, but a quarter of the time sparkly gel Manny. So what did you guys think? Let me know if you like this tutorial, if you like these gel products and things in here. Leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.